Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do a clean format and reinstall or first time installation of your Windows 7 computer or Windows 7 disk. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial, or I shouldn't say fairly quick, more along the lines of pretty simple. So we're going to jump right into this tutorial. And one prerequisite to this is that you've already burned Windows 7 to a compatible USB or CD or DVD basically taking the ISO file and putting it on through DVD or perhaps you actually have a retail copy of Windows 7 which is probably preferable and what most of you guys are actively doing when you're watching this video and you basically want to just boot your computer off of that so depending on your computer's motherboard specifications it's a little bit different on exactly how to get to the boot menu and it might look a little bit different generally it's going to be the escape key or the F2 key but I just have the escape key to get to the boot menu here and I'm going to boot my computer off of my CD-ROM drive you can go into your BIOS settings and change the boot order to boot off of your DVD or optical drive first but I would recommend just if you can go through the boot menu it's a quicker one-time kind of deal you don't have to go back into your BIOS later and change the settings back but anyway, underneath the boot menu, I'm going to boot off my CD-ROM drive. I already have my Windows 7 installation media on my computer. It's in my DVD drive. So I'm going to hit enter to boot my computer off of that. And then I'll be prompted to press any key to boot from the CD or DVD. Okay, so for language to install, select the correct language, select the correct time and currency format. If you need to change anything, just click inside this drop down menu and you can select a different option here. Keyboard input method, you want to make sure you just keep it to whatever your country is, it should be pretty self explanatory. So we're going to select next once we've confirmed those settings, and now we're going to select install now. and you're going to have to accept the license term so click inside the checkbox here and click on next so now you have the ability to upgrade your computer to a newer version of Windows if you're running Windows 7 an earlier edition you can update your computer through this DVD you can also select custom which will install a new copy of Windows which we're going to select here and it's going to ask where you want to install Windows now it should be pretty straightforward the type should be system and you can generally tell by if it's the largest hard drive or hard disk space that's available so even though in my case it says total size is 25 gigabytes, that happens to be where Windows is installed on currently and where we're reinstalling Windows, basically. So if you had any recovery partitions, they'd probably be listed here as well. But it should be a pretty straightforward sign just by looking at how large it is. You probably can figure out where Windows is going to be installed on. And once you've determined that, you want to select the next button right here and we can see that it says the partition you select might contain files from a previous Windows installation if it does these files and folders will be moved to a folder named windows.old you'll be able to access the information in windows.old but you will not be able to use your previous version of Windows once you've accepted that you want to click on the OK button right here this will begin the process of installing Windows so this will probably take the longest amount of time out of all of it so just be patient this will take a couple minutes here
Okay, so now we have to enter a username for our computer. I'm just going to call a computer here. And a computer name will be the same. Now you want to enter in a password. If you choose not to enter a password, that's fine. Just won't have a password when you initially set up your version of Windows. And now at this point, you want to enter in your product key. If you don't have a product key or you don't want to activate Windows at the moment, you can just automatically activate Windows when you're online. Or uncheck that and then select Skip. Help protect your computer and improve Windows automatically. So I would suggest that you would use recommended settings here. To keep your computer more secure. And then you also want to set your time. And then select Next. If you want to set up your computer's location, if you're what kind of network you're connected to, you can do that from here. Okay guys, so at this point it looks like Windows is installed on our computer. At this point I recommend going in and checking for any updates that maybe have come out since this installation disk or installation media was created. And you should be pretty much good to go from here. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.